Dame. Hey, hey. Uh, la fala, no? Oh, no, no. Yeah, the boy. No. Come on, get a bad budget off for yourself. So I have my coffee with me, I have my process video for you guys, so uh, yeah, let's get started with this one. Okay, so this is a longboard design, a longboard deck design that I got to do a few months ago for uh, Luca, which is a long, longboard brand from Poland, and well, it's been fun, I recorded the process. I think it it turned out pretty cool. Uh, the main idea here, this is the final, this is the sketch that was approved, by the way. The main idea here was to have uh, some sort of a transparency in the design, so it looks like the tiger is eating away the the board itself, and you can actually see the wood because we're not gonna print anything, and then the areas uh, with the wood are just gonna be the, the real texture from the wood of the deck of the longboard. So. I thought it was kind of fun and, and interesting and that was like the main idea behind this design. Um, anyway, yeah, I, I mean, I don't want to talk about the process that much, I mean, it's pretty straightforward and I feel like I don't have anything new to say about the process itself, so maybe I'll just talk about random stuff today, if you don't mind. Um, <laughs> Oh, so first of all, I wanted to say thanks to everybody who bought t-shirts and prints from my new shop. Um, thanks so much, guys. This really helped me and all of your support, all of the money that I earned from these sales going towards new equipment for my YouTube channel. So I'll, hopefully I'll, I'll make better episodes and you get nice t-shirts in return. So I think it's a nice investment. So uh, thanks so much for buying stuff. Thanks so much. Well. What should I talk about today? I'm really not sure. Ah, such a weird time, you know? It's been like, I don't know, like six months since the pandemic started. Things are very busy for me at the moment. Lots of work. Chasing deadlines for uh, quite a long time now. And it's really hard to find the time to actually record these things for YouTube uh, in between, you know, client work and all that stuff. It's funny, I mean, the, the first couple of months when the pandemic started and then there was like this, this massive lockdown for like two months here in Israel, things were scary for me, definitely um, not the best time. I got uh, a couple of projects that got cancelled and, you know, a week or like a couple of weeks have passed and we were stuck at home and I'm noticing there's like zero new clients coming in, zero leads, uh, nothing. Basically, it felt like everybody sh was shut down and there's not going to be any work in the upcoming months. So I was definitely nervous. Of course, you know, as a freelancer, I always save some money and I always have some money on the side for these kind of situations. So we were good financially, but this was definitely stressful and scary and it's kind of weird, you know, that once the lockdown was over, uh, it felt like everybody was just waiting to go back to work and start working on stuff and I suddenly got this massive uh, amount of new clients and new projects and I've pretty much been super busy ever since the lockdown was over. So things kind of balanced out and I can now say that uh, I'm not one of the businesses that uh, got hurt by the pandemic. I'm doing fine, I'm doing okay, I'm super busy at the moment, so things are definitely okay for, uh, for me as a freelancer. Um, and I'm definitely like super thankful for that. I mean, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist, I fucking draw stuff for a living and it, it's not like it's not a given that I actually get to uh, work even today and get clients who actually want to hire me for stuff. So 
I'm definitely thankful about that. I wish things were a little bit more relaxed and I would have like a little bit more time to actually, um, you know, have some fun experiment on my own and make more videos for you guys. But um, yeah, that's just, that's just the way it is. And I'm just happy to, uh, to be working and have a pretty regular schedule nowadays. So that's nice. Um, it's definitely a weird time in Israel as well. There's lots of protests uh, about the government. Um, the government doesn't seem to, to be doing a really good job handling the pandemic. And yeah, things are very, very awkward at the moment. It seems like we have a pretty large number of uh, infections still happening every day and we might be facing a second lockdown sometime soon. So that's definitely stressful. The, the economy here in Israel really suffered from the pandemic and there's still a very large number of unemployment. People who lost their jobs because of the pandemic and are not working for uh, six months basically. So. Um, yeah, like so the economy here in Israel is in a scary place right now and yeah, it's such a weird time, you know, but yeah, I guess uh, we'll have to wait this one out and hopefully we'll get vaccines in a few months or within a year and things will maybe be back to normal. Uh, so I don't know, I just wanted to share this with you and just talk about like stuff that are happening uh, at the moment uh, here in Israel and uh, for me personally. I wonder what what's happening in other countries. I hear that Europe is, is doing pretty well compared to us. So the number of infection is, is down. I'm not sure about uh, the US. So feel free to share with me in the comments like what's happening in your country and how you're handling this situation which is uh, yeah, definitely weird. By the way, guys, I want to change my website, make some updates and basically redesign my website. So I'm looking for a designer who is comfortable working and using Webflow. So if you're hearing this and you think you might be a good fit or a designer, you know Webflow and you have some experience, uh, please share your portfolio uh, and email me and maybe we can make this happen. I really want to update my website soon, so uh, that will be great. So what else guys, I'll be think, well it's, it's summertime, um, my wife isn't working because she's a teacher, she's uh, at, at the holiday, holiday time at the moment and the kindergartners are also closed, so my daughter is in the house, everybody's in the house basically. <laughs> and I need to find uh, ways to concentrate on work, uh, get things done, but I also try to spend as much time as possible with my wife and daughter and, you know, hang out and, uh, I don't know, go to the beach, do interesting stuff and uh, enjoy the summer, you know. Um, it's super hot, so basically just, you know, we're, <laughs> we're going to the beach or to the pool and that's pretty much it. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it's, it's fun. It's a really fun time. And um, I ordered a USB uh, splitter thing that you can actually use like multiple USBs because uh, I want to start live uh, streaming, but I need another USB port for my computer. So uh, I'll be able to connect both my, you know, my microphone, my Wacom, the camera and all the other stuff that I need, I don't know. So apparently I, I'm out of ports. So once this uh, USB splitter is gonna arrive in the mail, I'll be able to actually do some live streams. And I don't know, I feel like these process videos start to feel boring for me. So I think maybe I'll start just doing live streams instead and you know, share the entire process with you, even though it's like, much longer and slower and it, it might be less interesting and fun to watch. I guess I'm not gonna have like any any viewers on these streams, like probably like just a, a handful of guys or tuning in to watch me draw live uh, because my channel is, is pretty small, but I don't, I don't mind. I mean, as long as I can post the recording later on and you know, it stays on YouTube and you can watch it later as well. I think it will be the, the perfect solution uh, for you know the stuff that I actually want to create and share with you guys. 
Um, but yeah, these, these process videos are also nice and it's, uh, it's something that I can actually just uh, do from time to time and record a real process of working with a client like this one. So it basically doesn't cost any time. I mean, I do it on the way as I work on, on the client work and then that's like the perfect, uh, the perfect solution for, you know, not spending too much time on these uh, videos, but uh, the problem is I have to wait until the client uh, is actually ready to publish the artwork and to print it out and all that stuff. So sometimes it takes months and that sucks. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, but yeah, it's definitely, I think, I mean, it's it's definitely nice that it's it's like a real project that I can share with you. This is something real that I did for a client. So I think maybe it has like more importance and more interest and maybe it's more interesting for you guys. Um, what else guys? Yeah, I'd love to hear like ideas and stuff from you uh, in the comments. Let me know like what, what are you guys thinking about? What do you want me to share? Anything uh, new or I don't know. Do you want me to try vlogging anyway? It's too hard for me, but maybe I'll try it again. Uh, maybe it, it takes practice. I'll think about it. I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, someone asked me about like, what does I actually mean by saying I'm, I'm super busy? Uh, what's my schedule look like? So maybe I'll talk about that uh, and, and uh, share with you like what's, what's happening at the moment. So I think I have like, seven or eight different projects at the moment let me look yeah i'm working on like I, i'm actually working on three new uh decks like skateboard decks that i'm super excited uh, to share with you i'm actually recording one of one of the illustrations and i'll share with you this process um sometime soon so i'm working on three new skateboard designs working with a cannabis company um, from the us uh, I'm doing three new beer labels, which is pretty cool for a company uh, from Switzerland. And I'm also working on a character design for a startup uh, here in Tel Aviv. Another website design, website illustrations for uh, um, another startup here in, in Tel Aviv. And working on sketches for uh, Omega East, which is a client I... I it's for packages. They have uh, packages for uh, Easts, and I you might you might have already seen these designs, and I already worked on them on a few other uh, packages. So I'm making just a couple more packages for them. Uh, if you are following me on Instagram, then maybe you, you already saw these designs. I'm re I really hope I, I ac can actually make an episode about it uh, real soon because I recorded the process. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm also in the beginning stages of a project for uh, an app that is a pretty cool app that needs illustrations. And I'm working on a tattoo design, which is a private commission for someone. So overall, it's like, yeah, like seven or eight projects. And that's a little bit too much for me to handle. Um, I usually try to focus on just one project every day or maybe two projects a day to really be able to you know, dive deep and, uh, and make progress on a certain project. I, I find it very hard to switch between projects real fast. So um, that's why you know, having like eight different projects means I need to switch more often, you know, sometimes, I mean, every project has its, its own deadlines, so things can get messy and there's lots of emails and contracts and payments and all that stuff. So overall, that's a little bit too much for me to handle. And I would prefer to work on like four or five different projects at, at a given moment. But um, again, you know, I'm, I'm just happy and thankful that uh, I get to work on really cool projects and provide for my family. Um, and yeah, these are all like really exciting projects. These are super fun. I mean, there's beer, there's skateboards and cannabis and some websites and apps and stuff. So yeah, really cool stuff. Super excited to work on all of these projects. And um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's the, the good side and that's what I should be focusing on instead of complaining about uh, being too busy. <laughs> so yeah, I think I complained uh, enough. So, so I'm gonna try and be like super positive from now on. 
Um, what else? Well, I haven't been checking the Discord channel for a while, guys. Uh, I don't know if anybody uh, is still posting stuff on Discord. Oh, maybe we should do like a portfolio review again. I feel like uh, it's been a while and maybe that's like actually a good solution to make like a quick episode for next week. So um, if you guys are watching this and you're watching this and uh, not too late from the publishing date, uh, that means there's still time and you can actually send, uh, send me your links to your portfolio and I'll try to make a portfolio review for you guys if you want to. And I can talk about your illustration style, what I, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, what I think you should do next, uh, things like that. So I'm not gonna talk about the website or the portfolio itself. I'm just gonna um, give you feedback on your illustrations and your style. Uh, yeah, I think it will be interesting. So if you want to, you can leave a link to your portfolio here in the comments. And if you want to do it in a private way, you can email me as well or send me a link uh, on Instagram. That's also totally fine. Uh, so yeah, maybe we should try and do that. That would be fun. Anyway, guys, this is the final illustration that I sent to the client and eventually they used a different color for the, the red parts. And this is the final board that was already printed and they used this orange color for uh, the red parts. And then, as you can see, there's also like the transparent parts that I mentioned that you can actually see through the illustration and actually see the wood of the, the board. I think it turned out like super great. Um, I really love these colors. Um, yeah, super nice. So um, I'm actually waiting for my copy of this board. I really hope to share it with you by, the, by this time. But I think because of the pandemic, some of the shipments are slower than the usual and I still haven't got it in the mail. So I can't wait to see like the final board like in real life. But uh, for now, that's all I got for you guys. So um, yeah, that's it for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And don't forget to leave a comment if you like this video and if you want your portfolio to get a review. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. See you next week. Bye.